cute. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to start this vlog off um, saying that the empty house tour is live on my main channel. So go watch that, linked down below before you watch the rest of this vlog because otherwise it's just gonna be like, oh, whoa, she's living somewhere new now. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to pop in and say that. And then at the end of this vlog, I'm going to talk about some stuff. So stick to the end to hear some stuff. But let's go to 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Breakfast bar. <laughs> oh my god, a little breakfast bar. Oh, it's cute, babe. Tay went for a run, got stuff from mimosas, and uh, French toast sticks. A dream. And he even went to McDonald's just to get their little syrup because I have syrup at my place right now and we like don't really use it often, so there was no point of getting another one. And it's empty in here. They came and they emptied it out, so. We were robbed. We were, we were robbed. robbed. Cheers. They, were they could rob houses. They Cheers. were quick. Got our little stuff. Mm. Wow. All right, we're gonna spray the butter on the French toast sticks, obviously. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Love that for me. Do you want some too? Spray me up. Set me up. This is hilarious. So it's been a long time since we've chatted. I did not vlog all day long and it's 5.30. We really just lounged around the house for the entire day. You took a lot of naps. You took a lot of naps. I took no naps. Taylor slept everywhere. I just kind of sat around. I unpacked some boxes. Now it's 5.30. I don't really know where the day went. It doesn't really feel like the 4th of July. We're just kind of like, it feels like a lazy Sunday. It's so weird. So we are kind of like not in any rush to get anywhere, but we are now going to Target to get some 4th of July looking clothing. I'm looking for an American flag Speedo. Oh, I didn't know that. Love that for us. Love that for all Love of that us for and everybody who comes in contact Yes, with everyone us. will be so lucky. Oh, also, there was a massive earthquake today and we were just kind of sitting on the floor waiting for movers to take out the staging furniture and then all of a sudden everything's did you say like did you say something first i told you i was like oh is this an earthquake and you're like oh no it's something blah blah, blah. i thought that was the movers I've moving never felt stuff one, but also it's the most intense one people have ever felt 6.6 6. Like, taylor was right. not really scared people are like terrified I, I thought it was cool but i actually ended up getting a clip so i'll put that in wait look wait maybe it's not an earthquake oh. no it is oh my god everything's shaking this is the one. Taylor! <laughs> I just buy a place. <laughs> Do they feel it? Did you get earthquake insurance? Yeah, I think there is it. I think I did. Hopefully. It stopped. Nope. I've never felt one before. Oh, well, there you have. Yeah, so once we go to Target, we're gonna go to Taylor's because I have a bag of makeup over there. And I'm gonna do my makeup, get ready, and then we're gonna go to the beach, meet up with Jackson, and then Katie and Colin are also gonna meet us. Look and that car, the back of it. Oh my <laughs> lord. And then potentially Jill and Connor. Connor has work tomorrow, so he doesn't really wanna go. Let's go. Betty bias. She wants to go to bed. So we'll see. Jill said she's gonna check with Connor and see if he's down or not. But we are playing into the Tarje. All right, we have a couple of options. Plain red one, and then we have this one that's double-sided. It's got stripes and then also stars. I could do this. It's like a coaster. Oh, Pizza Planet. That's kind of perfect. Can I do that one? Yeah, I see it perfectly oh, on you. Do you know what's from? No. Oh. Turn off the video. Okay, right now. Okay. Unsubscribe. No, what the you know f okay. she doesn't. This Pizza Planet. Uh, Toy Story. That's why I'm not taking it. It's Toy you Story. To it. That's why I'm going with somebody else to Toy Story. <laughs> no, I'm not going with you. And then also, which one do I do? <laughs> Babe. Do you know what the Krusty Krab is? Yes. What's that from? It's a crusty crab pump. I love Target. I want to get all of this. <laughs> okay, Tay Tay, I need your help. Oh, Babe, toys. are you just ignoring me? Um, none. No, the stars. Back from Target, this is what I ended up with. We got the reversible bikini, and we both decided stars were the better move, even though I'm wearing like blue on blue with white. There's like a little pop of red. The stars are just more fun, so stars it is. <laughs> Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off. I came your way to strong. Cannot keep it low. Oh, and it's Ralph's too. Oh, so perfect. I have been to this one. Is that an olive garden? It looks like it's not. Yeah. Hello, guys. What is up? It is 
another time. God, I, it's been really confusing trying to vlog and do like main channel stuff at the same time. That is confusing. And I'm just like in such a strange headspace today because last night we got absolutely trashed with me. the neighbors. Okay, me. <laughs> I got trashed. Taylor took care of me. I don't know what happened. Yes, I do. We took lots of shots. They came by and then we got really, really drunk with them. And they had a dog. And they had a dog. Mickey. And today we're just gonna do a bunch of runs. We're gonna go to Target, Trader Joe's, Ralph's, pick up some stuff for the fridge, and just some essentials. We have to get you a new toothbrush. Like, where did it go? I don't know. Oh, there's the Chick Fil A. Yeah, no, that's awesome. We're also starving because we don't like have a lot of food. There we had French toast sticks, but, but you know, need actual food, so we're getting Chick Fil A. Been a hot minute since we've had some Chick Fil A, so. I'm excited. It's also Matt's birthday, so happy birthday, Matt. We're gonna go to his and celebrate a little bit. He's having a party. I will not be drinking. I will not be drinking. No chance. It's 3 30 in the afternoon. We're finally like out and functioning. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. This this is my first real meal since like breakfast yesterday, okay? Because we got drunk with them well, before we could eat dinner. Oh, I had pizza, but I don't remember pizza. Oh, baby. Thank goodness. This is the cutest little area. There's UCLA. So pretty. I like it here. Same. New hood. Yes. So freaking cute. Sorry, babe. I don't know how to fix it. There, I did it. All right, we've made it to the Holy Land. Grow your own. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Aloe? Wait, what is it? Can I have Wait, aloe? that would be kind of cool. Grow some, try grow something in your window soon. Yeah. Let's get it. How much are you? This is so cool. Outside. I think this might be a little bit hefty. Oh, you know what? These pink scissors I probably don't need. They just were cute though. Be in a How much do you think it's gonna be? 93. 93? You think it's gonna be under 100? That'd be awesome. And now for Ralph's. <laughs> Many gnocchis, look at them. Oh, Wait, what? Like I grabbed it. It's here. It's been grabbed. <laughs> hey. I'm not faking. This is the real life. Okay, fine, put it I in. It. Roasted garlic, yeah. We're back. We have quite the haul of stuff. Tape brought his laundry because he wants to do laundry. I'm gonna put some of this away. I think it's so cute. I will link it down below. It's only like 15 bucks. I'm just gonna put it out on the patio. Cute. So everyone can wipe their feet before coming back inside. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a very, very mini Target haul as fast as possible. I only have four minutes of storage on this camera right now. So, I got a bunch of these little baskets. I'm gonna put these under the sink in my bathroom. I'm gonna try and be more organized here. So I'm going to put like my hair tools in this one, some kind of product, like everything will be organized and have its place. So I got four of these and I got this really cute like little, what would you call this? Pitcher. A pitcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Figures like for lemonade or sangria, all you sangria, just so pretty. And then I got a bunch of cups that match that. Cups look like this. I don't know, I thought they were cool. This really pretty light pink Tupperware. And I got a trash can, trash can. Oh, and we got this uh, aloe plant. So much fun. I have this really nice big window sill in the kitchen, so I guess we'll do it here. Let you know how it goes. All right, so a while later, Tay went out to Matt. I was too hungover to go, but he came back with a huge bag of Taco Bell. I feel like Santa. I feel like you're Santa too. Oh, it is thick. Dang. So many of these. I'm like, you really haven't like experienced a Taco No, I haven't. Oh, I had to get all the like <laughs> main things for you. Oh my so God, you're so sweet. I'm so excited. It's gonna be great. And Stranger Things. I know. Oh, finally, babe. We're having the night that we were gonna have last night yeah. until <laughs> we got sure. fucked up. A little while later, I'm wearing these glasses that I just found when I was packing stuff up. But we got our bed, we got our TV set up and everything now feels good. But I sadly could not make it to Matt's party for his birthday because I literally feel so sick. When I stand up, it's just like a nightmare. We were gonna go to Trader Joe's after we went to Ralph's, but I was like, let's just go. Like I cannot stand up anymore. It's a really bad hangover today. I was very, very drunk. So drunk that Taylor literally set up a little bed for me in the bathroom because I was so sick and he literally slept on the bathroom floor with me like a sweet little angel. And then I guess he woke up at some point in the night and carried me into bed. But yeah, that's about it for today. It is actually two days after what you just saw. It's now Monday morning and I am here having my very first little coffee in the new place. Actually, I had one yesterday with Taylor, but waking up and doing my own thing this morning. I'm gonna make some eggs, it's gonna be amazing. Look, I'll start with some coffee. I wanted to actually pop in at the end here and chat with you guys a little bit about some stuff because I posted my empty house tour yesterday and there were lots of different kinds of comments and questions and I figured I would just like 
chat with you guys about it because there are some things that I think confused some people. So I'm gonna go through like different comments that I saw and then I'm going to give you my response. I've all that scared the shit out of me. It's just my ice maker, but um, scared the crap out of me. But yeah, I just wanted to go through a bunch of different things that you guys were curious about and answer them for you. But I think I'm gonna take you upstairs actually because I don't wanna like slouch down. I don't have any furniture to set you guys up on or anything right now. So like my living room is literally just empty. Okay, welcome to what will be my office eventually. There's definitely uh, quite a few things that I wanted to talk about here. Okay, for starters, I've seen some comments that really upset me. People assuming that my parents bought this for me and it's like their investment property that I'm getting to live in. That is absolutely not the case. I This place is in my name, I own it. I put down as much as I could for my down payment and I am paying a mortgage, just like regular people do. My parents did not buy this for me. I worked really, really hard for a long time and I've managed to save up a lot of money over that time. And then that leads me to the next thing where people were like, wow, you should have saved up more money to get a nicer place. <sighs> I saw that comment quite a lot on the main channel video. And I actually got an email this morning from somebody with quite the tone and I can only imagine it's like a sneaky troll that decided to email me this. They took the time to write like this whole ass message just basically calling me stupid for all the decisions that I've made here and saying that I should have waited until I had more money to get something nicer and bigger. So okay, I personally think it's super nice. It's from the mid 90s so it's not like super old. A lot of the other places I was looking at were from the 60s and some were like in the 40s and also I don't think people are understanding the fact that I live in Los Angeles. I'm still in Los Angeles. A lot of people that buy homes here that you guys watch all bought places like an hour or two out of LA and with that prices are very very high on homes. I don't I don't even know why I'm explaining this. I just hate closed-minded people that just think they know everything. I didn't want to wait to buy something bigger because then I would just be spending $3,500 a month on rent like I have been for the last two years and why the hell do I want to keep spending $3,500 a month on rent when I can be paying $3,500 as a mortgage and like I would own the place so that money is going into my home like it's not going to just nothing. So I bought something that I could afford now and then eventually when I sell this place it's going to appreciate and I will have more money saved up to buy something much bigger. This is just my first home. I don't know why people are like, actually I do know why people are assuming things. It's because a lot of YouTubers that people watch have millions and millions of dollars and they buy really really big extravagant places that are completely new and amazing and that's amazing for them. But this is my first home. I'm like a regular ass person and I bought something that I personally felt comfortable in. I didn't want a really big house. I would personally feel scared. I live by myself and I wanted something that I could feel comfortable in but also feel like I had more room than my last place. And that's this. This is the perfect in-between of like bigger than what I've had but also I'm still comfortable in it. I'm not scared to like be alone in it. So for people that are wondering why it's old and ugly. I literally saw a comment like that. Actually a few. Camera died, but we're back. That's totally fine. That's your preference. Just watching people comment on my video saying, wow, it's so old. Like, why didn't you get something bigger and better like other YouTubers did? It's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm literally just a person like everybody else. And I have a certain amount of money and other people have other certain kinds of money. And I'm super proud of what I've been able to do. I saw a lot of comments saying I should have bought different ones that you guys saw in the touring videos and the thing is like it's not just what it looks like and that's what's so bothersome to me obviously a good chunk of my audience is a lot younger so they don't really take all of that into account it's not just what it looks like a lot of buying like i bought something and i want it to be somewhere that i can be for a long time and a lot of that is the location a lot of the places that i was looking at before weren't in as great of a location as this place is and location 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 that is always what i've always heard from everybody that talks about buying a home is location should be number one on the list so while this isn't the most renovated it's in the perfect area in an area that is safe and all of the other homes are well into the millions. So as time goes on, this place is just going to appreciate as the neighborhood continues to grow. It's just going to appreciate and appreciate and appreciate. And like, that's what buying a home is. It's not just like I moved into a new apartment and it's like aesthetically pleasing. Like buying a home is a long-term decision. And that's 
a decision that I made and I'm obsessed with this place and I'm so excited. I have so many ideas for it. I don't know. I, I don't mean for this to seem like ranty at all. I just genuinely wanted to answer some questions because apparently there were a lot of them. I don't know. You guys know me. I like to <laughs> address things. But really all it comes down to is my happiness and I love this place so much. Every single day that I'm here, I feel more and more at home. Now that it's Monday, I got lots and lots of work to do. It was a long freaking weekend and I'm excited to get back to work and start planning some stuff for the place. But yeah, I just want to close this vlog off with a little chat so we can, you know, hang out and discuss some things. That's about it. So I'm actually going to end this vlog here and then tomorrow on the main channel, I'll be sharing all of my like move-in stuff. So I've been vlogging the whole entire weekend of everything that we've done moving wise and that will all be in the one video going up tomorrow. So I'm gonna have that link down below once it goes live. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I am so excited to continue to take you guys on this journey with me. And I will see you guys on Thursday.